Hey guys, Vlad here with the EVT Astro. So today I wanted to make a quick demo video of a couple of eyepiece trays that I actually made for my own personal use, but then folks, you know, kind of wanted me to make a few for them. Um, and now I, you know, I decided to just kind of put them up on my website for anybody that they may be helpful for. So there's a couple of different trays that I make. Um, one is, this is my original one that I made. I made this for my uh, Mead Lightbird 16 inch uh, that had an aftermarket uh, wood base on it. Uh, so it's got slots for three two-inch eyepieces, one inch and a quarter eyepiece, and then uh, four uh, two-inch filters. Um, another one that I made actually just by customer request uh, is kind of more of one that's kind of more focused on the inch and a quarter eyepieces. So it's got one two-inch, uh, four inch and a quarter, uh, three inch and a quarter filter holders, and one two-inch filter holder. And this is the one that I really made for me because I love Les Monde mounts. Um, this guy goes, you know, as you can see, this is the same tray around my uh, G11 there. So basically, it's got slots for uh, four uh, two inch eye pieces, three inch and a quarter, and then uh, four uh, two inch filters. Um, that can go in there. So, anyhow, let's take a closer look at how these guys are installed and uh, yeah. All right, all right, guys. So here is the trays, uh, just kind of you know, when they're not installed. So typically, what I do is, um, I actually my primary business, you know, the way that I make a living is I make automotive accessories, um, and you know, so basically I get parts laser cut all the time, and then they're powder coated for me all the time. So these are laser cut out of aircraft grade aluminum. Uh, they're professionally powder coated. Uh, these are 100% made in the United States. Um, so pretty cool. But anyhow, yeah, so like I said, uh, aircraft grade aluminum. Um, uh, and then, yeah, this is a powder coat that's kind of a texture finish on these. Um, so, yeah, that's the three trays that I currently got going on and let's take a look at uh, you know how they look when they're installed so basically this is that uh, G11 tray um, and this will actually work on the Lesmondi G8 as well and uh, I, I, even the, the Titan should work just fine with this so pretty much any Lesmondi will work so this is how it attaches with just those three standard mounting screws you know if you've got a, you know, a Les Monde mount, you're very familiar with these guys. Um, and then, yeah, so there's room for uh, four two-inch eyepieces. And I specifically designed this again. You know, I didn't design this to, like, sell or anything like that. I designed this for myself. Uh, so I designed this specifically to be able to support, like, pretty much the largest two-inch eyepieces that you could, you know, like, fit in there. Now, one thing I will kind of point out... Uh, with uh, Les Monde mounts, if you have, if you don't have the pure extension, kind of like I've got going on here, um, taller eyepieces, you know, you might have an issue with them, like hitting like the little thumb screws there. So, uh, but you can still easily fit at least two taller eyepieces in there, and these like kind of shorter, stubby ones, you know, will fit just fine. I mean, honestly, I haven't had any issues with fitting, you know, like either Televues or Explore Scientifics, like in these 100 degrees, which are, are about, you know, like the biggest eyepiece that you could get. Um, so kind of going around here. This is uh, how the filters look when they are in the little silos and the filter silos. So four of those guys fit in there, you know, quite nicely. Um, and then here's some inch and a quarter eyepiece. Now, as you can notice, this is actually a different finish than uh, the versions, you know, that I kind of had uh, that I was showing earlier that I normally saw. Um, this is actually just bare aluminum. It's not finished in silver. This is actually bare aluminum. I kind of prefer it that way primarily because... Um, my uh, 17080D here has this uh, custom adapter that I actually made on the lathe uh, at my astronomy club, you know, for my Moonlight Focuser. It's the same finish, it's just bare aluminum, so that's why I kind of left it that way. Um, and unfortunately, I don't really have a daub, you know, to show you how these are installed anymore, um, like a standard daub, I should say. But um, I did custom make a... Um, an inch and a quarter tray that, you know, basically more or less it attached to the same wire, looks the same. 
uh, for my JMI binoscope. So basically, you know, this is kind of how it normally more or less attached to uh, to your like if you have a you know like a, a regular daub that's got uh, a plywood base, you know, just screw straight to the plywood base and then yeah. So again, filter silo there. I've got four filters. You know, in this case, I just have uh, four uh, inch and a quarter eyepieces. That's because. Uh, the JMI Binoscope, this thing only uses, you know, inch and a quarter eyepieces. So I've got a couple uh, in the uh, focusers there. All right, all right, guys. So that kind of concludes our demo video. Um, again, I kind of made these available, you know, just uh, just because people kind of requested them. Um, you know, if you have AutoCAD skills, I did want to point out, uh, and you want to send me a custom, you know, AutoCAD file, uh, like I said before, I do get uh, stuff laser cut and powder coated all the time. I mean, like literally, like almost on a weekly basis. So I could, you know, I could do pretty much any part. Uh, whether it's an eyepiece tray or you know some other astro related gizmo, um, you know if if you like if you're really dying to have one of these that are kind of customized, then you know you want me to do a little bit of AutoCAD work and customize it for you. I you know I could possibly do that as well. You know just shoot me an email and let me know. But yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave them in the thing below or shoot me an email and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.